So I like to title this poem, It's Those Shoes That Make That Outfit Look Right. As I look at you from head to toe, I see that you're ready, or should I say, good to go. Now you're dressed and you look so fly, but did you know that it's those shoes that make that outfit look right? Now, I know you're strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, but did you know that it's those shoes that make that outfit look right? Now, I read that we should put on the whole armor of God to prevent, to protect us against the enemy's schemes because haters are always throwing darts from every angle, if you know what I mean. It's so good that you look so good every morning, noon, and night. At least that's what Preacher Man says. But it's those shoes <laughs> that make that outfit look right. So Miss Joanne, stand your ground. Lace your belt, because truth will prevail over any lie. And while you all put together, remember it's those shoes that make that outfit look right. Now your breastplate, it covers your heart and that's tight. Your helmet protects your brain. Your shield shines and has a beautiful glow. The way you use your sword, you use it with excellence and skill. You have the anointing that discerns thoughts as well as heal. It's a wonder that we are graced with your presence on this blessed night. But it's those shoes that make that outfit look right. So would you walk this way, Miss Joanne? And would you <laughs> talk that way? <laughs> because it's those shoes that I most adore. <laughs> Miss Joanne is too funny. Your shoes, your shoes. You know the way you wear them, you can't lose. Because when I see you walking, I know you bring good news. Good news, good news and not the blues. Because the words you speak give life and they are never ruined. One more thing I've got to say or I won't feel right. It's those shoes that make that outfit look right. And I'm going to continue on in the same vein of, of giving honor to Miss Joanne. Yes, yes. My, uh, the p first piece I'm going to do tonight is called Phenomenal Woman because Miss Joanne is a phenomenal woman. Can I get an amen? Amen. All right. Pretty women wonder where her secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say, it's the reach of my arms and the span of my hips, the stride of my steps and the curl of my lips. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. I walk into a room just as cool as you please. And to a man, the fellows stand or fall down on their knees. Then they swarm around me, a hive of honeybees. I say, it's the fire in my eyes and the flash of my teeth, the swing in my waist and the joy in my feet. I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try to touch, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say, it's the arch in my back and the sun of my smile the ride of my breast and the grace of my style. I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman. That's me. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say, it's the click of my heels and the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand and the need of my care. Cause I'm a woman. Phenomenally, phenomenal woman. That's me. Did you know that before the world began, you were chosen? And while time marched on, you were frozen? Did you know God kept you in a safe place? And at that appointed time, you will be adored for your style and your grace. You are a queen chosen to make 
decisions. Look to for your provisions. Adored for your beauty. Respected for your duties. Men pay respect unless they are blind and cannot detect. Your compassion and expression of love placed in you from the Father above. You see, you possess charm and not deceit. Preacher man's heart is secure and he feels complete. It may be a fantasy for anyone else to dream to be as unique as you are, to be as special as you are. Because when you were born, Miss Joanne, you were born a queen and that makes you a natural born star. You are a queen. There you go messing with my head. I thought I saw you across a crowded room, but it was a stranger instead. The clock strikes 11.45 and I know my time is almost up and I don't know what to do. I'm searching desperately for that undeniably flawless woman that left her shoe. No, it's not a glass slipper if you presumed, but it was a four and a half inch pointed toe slingback, black pump, and as we danced, we cleared the room. I look down the hall and I think that's you. So I run as fast as I can, but I'm fooled again because this lady can't fit the shoe. The clock strikes 11.55 and when hope was almost gone, I see you standing there with just one shoe on. My heart is beating out of control. I try to move, but my legs say no. So I pray under my breath and then my strength is restored. So I run, but I swear it felt like I soared. I'm flying, but my feet haven't left the ground. I move so fluidly that I don't even make a sound. As I draw closer to you, it appears that you're fading away. The clock strikes midnight. Man, I almost touched you today. I awake with beads of sweat that cover my face. You know you're not right, showing up in my dreams all unannounced, sending my mind into space. I guess you do what you do when you want to do it. I must have given you permission. So preacher man lays back down to sleep and patiently waits with earnest anticipation. Lord, send me another one of those beautiful visions. This poem is for the ladies, like Miss Joanne who don't drive Mercedes but they work day and night trying hard to feed the babies. But this poem is for the ladies like Miss Joanne who do drive Mercedes because they push themselves through school to provide the best living that they can for their babies. This poem is for the ladies who love their man unconditionally even when he drives them crazy. This poem is for the ladies who keep their home clean, not just because someone is coming over, if you know what I mean. This poem is for the ladies who keep their head up in spite of the cards they were dealt because they stood on the word of God for their deliverance in spite of what they felt. This poem is for the ladies who send their children to church on the church bus and they ask their children, tell the preacher to pray for us. This poem is for the ladies who purchased their own home with only the help of God on the throne. Whoa, this poem is for the ladies who keep God first in every area of their lives, even when it hurts. This poem is for the ladies who are waiting on that God sent man to be his helpmeet and to do the best that she can. This poem was not only for Joanne, but for all the ladies. This poem was for the ladies. Amen. This one is called Proceed with Caution. I'm enamored with your poise, and when you smile at me, it brings me so much joy. You speak, I listen. You call and I come. I come running any time that you're in need, and it feels real good that you need me. The strength is in your chin. I mean your grin because you have me wrapped had me wrapped around your finger. Man, I'm all in. Undeniably flawless from head to toe. My Joanne made just for me. All I can say is, whoa. 
Woman, thou art graciously lovely from the inside out. I've been preparing for you and now I receive you. Oh God, you're so good to me without a doubt. Sweeter than chocolate, I can't withstand your taste. Even a kiss on your cheek sends preacher man into space. Your shadow only tells half the story, half the truth. But I'll take just your silhouette if I can remain close to you. If you say go, forgive me because I'll have to stay. I've lived too long without you and I refuse to allow you to fade away. I've prayed too many times for you to believe that you're the physical manifestation of God's will for me. Walk that walk, honey. Mesmerize me with the splendor of your beauty because your brilliance cannot be purchased with money. You can't be bought because love is free. I'm so blessed that you chose to love me. I can't resist you, so don't ask me to, because now that I found you, this poem is what I'll ask Yolanda to read to you. <laughs> Since the moment I took your hand, your soft brown eyes stayed on my mind. I tried to hide it, but I only realized I yearned for you. My heart beats fast, and I feel alive. But I'm playing it cool, but I can't lie. I yearn for you. Like honey, sticky to the fingertips. Your image stays on my mind, so I pray, Lord, this must be it. Like a summer breeze that blows through the air, I love the way you worship, and you don't even care who stares. A precious gift from God you must be. You're so caring and compassionate, just right for me. I can't take it no more, you must be mine. Why am I hesitating? I know I'm wasting time. Are you busy for the next hundred years? Can I reserve your presence and whisper sweet nothings in your ear? You see, preacher man yearns to please, to protect and to serve. He would tell you if he could only get up the nerve. He said, is it in the way that you walk that attracts him? Or is it in the way that you talk when he hears you call him? Did he pray to meet someone, someone like you? <laughs> no, he must be dreaming. You can't be true. Let him touch your hand and see if you're real and look deep into your eyes and see what you really feel. Because he yearns to know what make you tick from your favorite color to the thing that makes you sick. Like the moon that dances on the water at night, dance with him until the daylight. See, preacher man, he can't take it no more. He's got to let you know what's up. So he gave me these words and said, Miss Joanne, I yearn for you. So we have to become a couple. I yearn for you. <laughs>